Hey mom, Stephanie Novak here, Busy Mom Fit Life, and I wanted to talk to you about a few myths that we have going on in this fitness industry. So one of the biggest myths is that you have to go to the gym for a full hour, at least three to four times a week, in order to get any results. And I'm here to tell you that is a complete lie. I know plenty of people who have gone to the gym for an hour and have gotten no results and have gone every single day of the week. And I'm sure some of you out there also have done the same. It does not matter how long you go to the gym for. It's what you do while you're there. Also, you don't exactly have to go to the gym. There's plenty of things that you could do at home to get yourself in shape. I like to get creative about it. I do some calisthenics or some work on the floor, some push-ups, some squats. And then to add in weights, I'll use shopping bags or I'll use a briefcase or sometimes I throw in a bottle of vodka. Yeah, I do whatever I can to make it feel like it's a weight. And I do that in my own home without having to go to the gym. So no, you don't have to go to the gym. Stop thinking that's the only place you're going to get results because you can do it right here in your own home. Also, there's plenty of people out there who say that you could eat whatever you want and you'll, as long as you work out, you'll be in great shape and you'll have a nice ripped belly and nice strong arms and toned booty. I'm here to tell you they're lying to you. There's no way that you could be in great shape without eating a good diet. And I'm not saying it's a diet per se. You're not eliminating things for a certain period of time and then adding them back in. No, it's a clean eating lifestyle. So it's eating produce, chicken, meat, fish as primary sources of your food and then adding in some other cheats once in a while, adding in carbs once in a while, having that occasional sugar, but making it a lifestyle. So you're eating nutritious meals that are filling you up and giving you energy majority of the time. That way your body will show you results. When you're eating foods that are solely carbs or solely sugar and you're not really getting that nutritious food in, your body shows. And that's where you kind of get that big belly or that saggy booty from. I'm sorry, but I'm here to tell you about those myths and let you know there are changes that you can make that are simple that you just didn't know about by changing your food. Also, what most people don't realize is that genetics factor into how your body looks. You can go out to a gym and meet a trainer and the trainer will tell you, oh, I'll get you that great booty and I'll get you these really skinny arms and yeah, I'm sure they sold it to you. Don't buy it. I know personally, I have big arms. My mom has big arms, my grandma has big arms. It's just hereditary. What I decided to do with my big arms is to tone them. So I do some push-ups and I do some dips and I get this like nice line that goes down the back of my arms. Sometimes I get my shoulders a little pumped up. So although those blazers might feel tight around my arms, when I take them off, I no longer look like I have big arms. I look like I have strong arms. And that's what I did with that mm, unpleasant, unwanted, hereditary gene that I just got. I'm sure you deal with something of the same. Lots of women have either larger legs or larger hips or just something that you got from your parents that you wish you didn't have. So although that's not going to go away, there's ways to kind of mask it to make it look different. So to you, although it might be big hips or to me, my big arms, to them it'll look like sexy hips and a nice booty or sexy arms. Just saying there's ways to change it up. Also, I don't know about you, but I love when I read in these magazines that there are five moves for weight loss or seven moves to get you to that crazy sexy belly or ten moves you need to have to get strong legs. Heard it all before, it's all not true. They're just trying to produce something that they think you'll read. But realistically, there's no magic movement that's going to get you a six pack and there's no secret unknown exercise that's going to get your booty nice and firm and higher up. There's just not. It's not a secret. It's squats and lunges that are going to get your booty nice and high and firm. Um, there's push-ups and dips that are going to get your triceps nice and toned. There's no secrets out there. There's no certain five moves that you need to do to get your body that way. It's all about getting a program with those exercises in it that you can do that will make your body change into the one that you dream of. I like to practice those all the time and I include those in my workout programs. And the last myth that I hear often is that you don't have to worry about your health. Lots of people say, don't worry about it, you look good, you look good. Even though you don't feel great about it, 
and you know you need to make a change but you haven't made a change yet and your friends are just telling you oh it's okay you can wait don't worry about it wait till you're older then wait wait till a problem happens and then fix it or wait till you go to the doctor and the doctor tells you you know you should lose some weight or you should lose uh, strength in your legs to get rid of that knee pain don't wait you're much better off starting off young it's easy to reverse those negative effects that you've had on your body now rather than 15 years from now. You also don't want to get to the point where you're 50 years old and you have some form of heart disease or you're pre-diabetic or you have osteopenia or osteoporosis. That's not what we want. We don't want to wait till the problem happens. Start today, make the decision today that you're going to get your body in the best shape it's ever been in. Not the best shape compared to your best friend or your sister or your, no, the best shape that you could be in for your body. If you want to get nice slim waist, do it. If you want to tone up your legs, do it. If you're working on getting your arms stronger because carrying around those kids all day or carrying around um, the groceries or traveling with suitcases has gotten too heavy, do it, make a change. You deserve this and you don't deserve it tomorrow or a week from now or a month from now. You deserve it today. So let's go. Let's get you started on some healthy meals and some good workouts. Stuff that's going to make you feel good about yourself and make your body change into the one that you've always wanted. Why should you wait a few years from now? You shouldn't. Feel great tomorrow about this and feel great today about making the decision to make the change. I hope these myths help you debunk some of your fitness ideas that you had stuck to for mostly for a few years for most people. And follow me for some more videos and check out my Facebook page to see some more updates. I'll see you soon.